Hey guys, Blessing here and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to make a trendy dish of the year. So this has been going on the social media for quite some time now. So sikat siya sa Instagram, sa Facebook. So every time na nakikita ko tong dish na to, parang siya nakakataka. And it looks so very easy to make. So I decided to make this video for you guys and and take note this is gonna be my first time to uh, make this kind of dish and first time ko rin siyang matitikman so we'll see if we were going to be successful for today's episode so right now we're going to use our office kitchen so next search muna ako bago ko gawin tong dish na to and there's different kinds of version pala ng baked sushi may spicy may mild and meron din yung plain lang so some of us love spicy and some are not fun of it so we'll try na i half and half yung gagawin nating baked sushi so let me show you all the ingredients na meron tayo ngayon so ito yung mga ingredients natin guys so we have the shredded crab stick so shredded na siya even the salmon shredded na natin and we have this rice um, depende na lang kung gano'ng kalaki yung pamilya ninyo. So, it's optional. Since first time nilang matitikman, uh, tinansya muna natin yung kanin. And we have um, the sesame oil. Uh, sriracha hot chili sauce. Ayan siya. And mayo sriracha. I won't kung tama yung pronunciation kanyan. But, um, ito lang available. Wala yung plain. So, kinuha ko na lang siya. And we have this nori. Ayan. So, roasted black seaweed siya. Ito yung ipangtatap natin mamaya pag natapos na yung, yung baked sushi natin. And this one is our um, mayo. Maglalagay tayo din ng mayo. And then rice vinegar. And Philadelphia original cream cheese. And of course, hindi mawawala itong ating roasted seaweed uh, na ipangrarap natin mamaya dito sa gagawin natin um, baked sushi. So, mag-start na tayo guys. So, first thing na gagawin natin, imamash lang natin itong cream cheese. Magandang minamash muna lang siya sa loob para mas madali na lang siyang imash pag nilagay na natin siya dito. So, ayan. There we go. And then, mash natin siya with this. We were just gonna get some half of our mayo. Ayan lang natin siya. Let us just uh, mix well with the cream cheese and, and let's put our shredded crab stick. And our shredded salmon. Okay, so, pag na-mix na natin tong ating pinaka base, ayan, set aside muna natin sila. So, pwede na natin ilagay itong ating, um, ating rice. Ayan. And pwede na rin natin i-mix ang ating sesame oil. So, tansya-tansya lang tayo guys kung sakto na yung sesame oil. Ayan. So, i-mix lang natin mabuti. Ayan. Pagkatapos nun guys, pwede na natin ilagay ang ating rice vinegar. So, it's on the shipping brand. So, lagay lang natin siya sa ating rice guys. Dito sa amin, mostly na bibili to sa Asian stores, even sa local store ng Hawaii, meron sila. Sobrang common lang kasi dito yung mga products ng Japan. Then, one of the biggest uh, race dito sa our Japanese. So, ayun. So, i-flatten lang natin mabuti itong ating rice. Para malagay na lang natin yung base up. So, pwede na natin ngayon ilagay yung minix natin kanina na pinaka-base ng ating baked sushi. Yeah. Nasa sa inyo din guys, if you wanted to put some pepper, 
tulad ko ay ma pepper person. Some of the people said itong ginawa nating ang um, pinaka base niya, pwedeng i-dip sa nachos or even like sa tacos, parang ganoon. Masarap din daw siya. And kanina nagte-try ako ng maghanap ng um, fish eggs, yung alam niyo yung maliliit na orange, yung mostly nakikita natin sa sushi but hindi available dun sa napuntahan namin grocery store so that's okay and I guess medyo madami itong ating nagawang base well which is good para magamit din natin kung gusto pa natin gumawa and then pwede na natin ilagay ang ating uh, roasted black seed so lagyan lang natin siya Yung half niya, lagyan lang natin ng mild. Dahil hindi masyado sa maanghang yung iba sa amin. Let's begin to design our sushi day. So, design na natin siya guys. <laughs> hindi ako madesign na tao, but... Then, lagay natin yung sriracha na chili. Diba? Okay siya. Then, ayan na siya guys. Excited na akong matikman. Sabi ng iba, it's okay lang na ganito na siya. But since may sala akong magawa nito, then ibig na natin at the same time. Para naman mainit kahit pa paano. So, ibig natin siya sa taas. Titikman natin siya. So guys, titikman na natin ang ating baked sushi. So, na-bake na natin siya. So, we preheated this for about 450 Fahrenheit and that's for like 5 to 10 minutes. And it looks good. Parang nakapasa naman tayo. But we'll see kung mapapasa natin yung lasa niya. So, every time na nakakapanood ako ng ganitong uh, kainan ng baked sushi, naglalagay sila ng roses seed. So, nilarap nila yung binake na yun. So, eto, binili namin dito sa Costco. So, we'll see. Ito siya. Medyo ingat lang guys kasi mainit siya. Ayan. And then, ilarap natin siya with the seaweed wrap. Ayan. Let's see. Let's eat. Mmm. Masarap siya. Naglalaro yung yung angha, yung lasa ng crabs at saka yung salmon. And yung hint ng sriracha, masarap din. So, approve siya. Then, let's see yung isa, yung nalagyan ng sriracha mayo. Yeah. Yes, that's a bit of it. Again, at this ating... Itong part na to, tama lang yung hang compare sa sa talagang chili sauce ng sriracha. Kasi so, ito yung mild na may mayo. So, so, same thing after yung taste ng pagka mild na ang hang, yun yung taste ng, ng crabs, salmon at saka yung creaminess ng nilagay nating mayo at saka yung cream cheese. So, you guys can try this at home. And I heard pa rin din siyang business as your extra income during this quarantine season. And hindi siya mahirap, it's so easy to make. 
as long as may nakaredy kang ingredients, everything will be okay. So that's it guys for today's episode and sana nag-enjoy kayo. And for those of you who are new to this channel, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And just hit the notification bell so that you'll get notified whenever we post new videos. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on our next vlog.